Okay, so in this video we're going to do the uh, derivative of cotangent, so that's the uh, last trig function um, before we move on to inverse trig, I guess. Um, so here, d dx of cotangent of x equals negative cosecant squared of x. So uh, this is kind of analogous to the tangent derivative, right? Remember the derivative of tangent is secant squared, so here the derivative of cotangent is negative cosecant squared. So uh, kind of interesting. But anyway, um, let's go ahead and see how this is true. So there are actually two different ways we can approach this. Um, we could uh, let's use a different color here. We could use the fact that cotangent of x equals uh, cosine of x over sine of x, or we could use the fact that it equals one over tangent of x. All right. So if we do it like cosine over sine, then it's going to be pretty similar to the proof for tangent. Um, so just for that reason, let's go ahead and do it uh, using this. So it'll be slightly different this way, and it's good to see that. Um, it's good to see different ways. Uh, but we're still going to use the quotient rule. So anyway, uh, d dx <coughs> of cotangent of x equals d dx of 1 over tangent of x. All right, so quotient rule tells us that that's going to be uh, bottom, which is tangent of x, times the derivative of the top. The top is 1, it's a constant, so its derivative is 0. Okay, bottom times the derivative of the top, minus the top times the derivative of the bottom, and uh, we already know that, uh, okay, the bottom is tangent, so we know its derivative is secant squared. So this is uh, secant squared of x, okay? And then uh, all that divided by the bottom squared, so divided by tangent squared of x, okay? So uh, what next? Now let's come down here and we'll say this equals what? Well, tangent of x times zero, it's just zero, and then we have uh, negative uh, secant squared of x over tangent squared of x. Okay, so uh, this is minus sign, I just pulled it off the fraction here because we just want to keep it out of the way for what happens next. Uh, so now, um, what we're going to do is say negative, uh, what is secant squared? That's 1 over cosine squared, right? So this is uh, going to be 1 over cosine squared on top. Okay, and again, uh, parentheses aren't really necessary, but they're good to have just for clarity. Uh, what about tangent squared? Uh, that's going to be sine over cosine whole thing squared. Uh, so that's going to be sine of x over cosine of x whole thing squared like that. Okay, so pretty much what we have is uh, a fraction divided by another fraction. Um, actually, let's go ahead and write this as sine squared over cosine squared. Let's go ahead and write it like that. Sorry about that. Okay, so um, actually we still need those, kind of. Um, so uh, we have this here, okay, 1 over cosine squared uh, divided by sine squared over cosine squared. So if you divide by uh, this fraction here, that's just like multiplying by its reciprocal. So uh, we still got this minus sign, just kind of chilling out there, not really doing anything. Um, now we have 1 over cosine squared of x. Now we're going to multiply by the reciprocal of this uh, big denominator here. So that's going to be cosine squared of x over sine squared of x. All right. So these cosine squares cancel. That's great. Now what we're left with is uh, negative 1 over sine squared of x. Oops. Um, and uh, so we just have the 1 and the sine squared. And 1 over sine is cosecant. So 1 over sine squared is cosecant squared. And we still have this minus sign out here. OK, so that's where uh, that negative cosecant squared x comes from. And uh, that's the proof uh, of the derivative formula for the cotangent function.